Today we are diving into the latest update for Counter-Strike 2 which introduced the new prompt and separate settings for the G-Sync, V-Sync and NVIDIA Reflex. These features have been available before but now they are more accessible with the dedicated options and prompts. Many players are confused about how to use these settings and what they did. Does these options increase the latency or lower the FPS? In today's video, I'll answer all your questions. Let's get started. So guys first thing first, if you want to use G-Sync and NVIDIA Reflex, you need a NVIDIA GPU and if you don't have a NVIDIA U GPU, you won't able to use these settings. On the other hand, V-Sync, you can use V-Sync without a NVIDIA GPU. You can use any GPU for V-Sync. Now let's talk about G-Sync and V-Sync. Suppose you have a 144Hz monitor. This means your screen refreshes 144 times every second allows you to see up to 144 frames per second if you're getting 200 frames in game you're seeing 200 fps per second which is higher than your monitor refresh rate this causes a screen tearing make your video look out of sync and not smooth it's using a g-sync or v-sync synchronize your fps your in-game fps with your monitor refresh rate giving you a more and smoother game experience however these settings can increase your input lag which means latency which is where the nvidia reflex came into play nvidia reflex reduces your input lag provide a more responsive gaming experience if you have an nvidia gpu but doesn't have a g-sync monitor enable v-sync and enable nvidia reflex and if you have a g-sync monitor you can enable all the three settings that is g-sync v-sync and NVIDIA Reflex. There are also another technology similar to G-Sync called FreeSync, which is AMD version of this feature. It works same as a G-Sync or V-Sync. It's true that these technology can increase the input lag a little bit, but NVIDIA Reflex solve all these problems and giving a great competitive experience in CS2. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.